So when I landed at the bottom of the bowl in the Owasso Park and I stood up and, and started to realize it was broken, the, the group of kids that had gathered around the edge of the bowl, uh, one of the kids was new to skating. I believe he was uh, maybe 20, 21. He straight up quit skateboarding on the spot when he looked at my wrist. He was more shocked than I was. I at first thought maybe, you know, uh, I wouldn't have to go to the hospital. That that went away very quickly. But uh, yeah, the fact that someone stopped skating based off of a fall that I did, that made my day. Jeff, I'm uh, 31, born Tulsa, Oklahoma. I got back into skateboarding again after a hiatus of 15 years. Uh, started back at 29 and went to the uh, Wasso Skate Park. I decided I was going to uh, break in some new wheels, skate the bowl, dropped in and went up and locked in a, a 5-0 or a 50-50. And next thing you know, I was at the uh, bottom of the bowl. I fell from the top and uh, snapped my wrist and uh, yeah, got up and drove myself to the hospital. Didn't need to drive myself, I drove myself. <laughs> it was a flash from the top of that to the ground. Uh, all I remember was hitting the ground, feeling pain, but didn't really have a, a, a you know sense of where it was. I heard people and they were actually my first indicator that my wrist was broken. Um, and I, that, once I looked down and I, I saw that it, was, it wasn't going back into place, that it was, it was broken. Uh, didn't hear anything. I just, I, I remember feeling it about the time I stood up was when I realized uh, this, was, this wasn't gonna be one I could walk off. So we were gonna be taking a, taking a trip to the old hospital. I think I started skating again, maybe a week and a half a week and a half after, it started slow, but once I had the brace on, I could start skating, but I had to change up everything about how I skated in the sense that I had to find a different way to fall because even landing on the backside, side of my wrist, anything like that was, uh, would have been a game ender. Uh, there's no, no, no chance that it wasn't gonna break again. And uh, my wrist is, is better, but I still, still have to wear a brace, uh, I have to be, be extremely careful on where I land, uh, but at the same time, skating is skating. You're not gonna, you're not gonna stop over a broken bone. My name is Bryant. Uh, 18 years old, here in Owasso, Oklahoma. When I started skateboarding, I was I'd say like six years old. Parents, we lived right next to a skate park. I was in Arizona at the time. Um, just watching everybody skate, I had a little mini board. I just wanted to, wanted to be like them. So, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much when, I, when it started happening. What keeps me going is just seeing, you know, all the old heads out here, just like they're so fluent with their tricks. It looks effortless, like it really keeps me going. And I, I see them do a trick. It's like I, I never even thought was possible, and then I, I go, I go and try it. And it seems pretty, you know, doable. So that that really helps when all the old heads show up, and it's like a huge gate session. I come here about every night, so I, I mean, I love everybody here, all my friends. So there's a lot of people that show up that don't skate, play the play the guitars. There's a band here that shows up every once in a while. It's, it's nice, dude. I love this park, and I'm glad this is my hometown park as well. Yeah, dude. And skateboarding. It's trial and error, and it really teaches you a lot. I mean, I come out here, some days I'm off, some days I'm on, but getting that trick when, you, when you've really been trying at it, because that's like, when you're doing that trick, it's like a, it's like a whole story. So it's like, yeah, I'd say it is pretty therapeutic. Just come out here, bad mood, whatever, AirPods in, let's go, let's skate. My name is Josiah, also known as Big Joe. I'm 19 and I'm from Houston, Texas. Skateboarding's really been around my whole life since I've ever remembered. Uh, but what really got me into doing it, doing it, like taking it seriously, an ex-girlfriend of mine, her little brother, gave me a board. And at that time when it was given to me, 
I really had nothing. Like, I would just doodle in my room, sit in my room. Then I found this, and it made me more social, more active, more like, you know, caring. Just want to be out there trying to have a good experience and share that experience with other people, making sure they're having the same. But then eventually, I honestly took it more seriously when I was looking at the culture and how hard these people work out here in the park. And that, at that moment, I don't know what happened, but I just clicked. I skate transition, and like near like the late 80s, early 90s, transition started becoming more in the street and bolts have been, you know, being decommissioned and like that thing was kind of dying in a way. So I kind of took motivation from that. And uh, the way I skate personally, I just call it thrashing. You know, it's real aggressive skating early, like, 80s where they were hitting them big 50 foot bowls and they're very high up and they have like no fear and they're throwing themselves and seeing that aggressiveness I was like I gotta try it, it like kind of looks like football in a way yeah, dude. for me personally I originally looked at it like this and I still continue to it's just stick to it just do what you love to do and if you're really passionate about it someone will find that same passion in themselves like just hey this is me this is what I'm doing and it's okay for you to do it too